YouTube can be overwhelming. There are so many different steps that you need to execute on for things to work out, from coming up with titles and thumbnails and then filming and editing. There are so many moving pieces that at times it can feel as though you're drowning. But in this video, I wanna share with you a system that will actually streamline the entire process from A to Z so that you can make YouTube and specifically launching videos and monetizing your YouTube channel feel like a breeze. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Lloyd Yip. I run a consulting company, but in the last year or so, YouTube has actually been one of my best performing marketing channels. And despite having only under 3,000 subscribers at the time of recording this, we've already done well over six figures in sales. And a big part of that has to do with the fact that we've really systematized our entire production cycle. And that way we could launch new videos and do it in an incredibly efficient manner. And many creators that I've spoken to who are trying to monetize YouTube get stuck in this cycle where they're constantly trying to figure out new titles, but then they realize that, oh damn, I have a new video that needs to be launched next week. I haven't even started on editing it yet. And it's just too overwhelming because there are so many different things that you have to consider. So I wanna share with you what I call the YouTube content conveyor belt. And I promise that if you deploy these specific steps, everything will start feeling like a well-oiled machine. All right, so let's get into it. The basic idea is that if you were able to separate the entire YouTube process into its individual steps, then you could actually just execute on these steps one by one and everything will feel a lot more efficient. Now, let me actually explain what these individual steps are when it comes to launching your YouTube channel. First off, you gotta be able to ideate your videos, right? And then from there, once it's ideated, you wanna be able to come up with titles and thumbnails once that's done, you want to be able to script your video so that it's compelling to the audience and then filming and editing and launching your videos in that particular order. So just making one video can be complicated enough when you think about all of those intermediary steps. And it only gets more complicated when you think of the fact that, hey, you might have three videos that you're launching every single week. And at any given point, if you're trying to put three videos into production, there might be some videos that are still in the thumbnail phase, and then there are some others that are in the filming phase, and then some might be in the editing phase. And then things can definitely get a little bit confusing when you have that many different projects happening at the exact same time. And that's why having a workflow such as this YouTube content conveyor belt will make a world of difference. So, I'm gonna show you my screen share right now, and this way you can see a little bit of the method behind the madness. All right, so what you're actually seeing in front of you here is almost what is a project management tool. And if you are able to follow this, it'll make your entire life easier. Now what you're actually seeing here in front of you, on the left are all the different ideas and titles of the different videos that you will be launching in the specific chronology of which you'd be launching it in. And then on the right, you're also seeing all the different sub steps that you need to execute on for your videos to ultimately come to life, whether it be coming up with the title or the thumbnail or the script, filming, editing, so on, so forth. So this is the main project management workflow that we'll be working with, but there's also other steps involved. So let me actually move to the topic ideation sheet here in the same spreadsheet and if you actually watched my other video, which is all about how to come up with content ideas, this is pretty much where we brainstormed all the different ideas and put them into essentially a repository where we'd be able to select which ideas seem like has the most upside and potential. And then those are the ones that we actually turn into real videos that we'll eventually film. Now, once you're able to pick the right ideas out of this rough list, and decide, hey, you know what? These ones have the potential to turn into a real video. We then kind of transport it into this sheet here, which I already showed you. But of course, once you put it in this sheet, you're gonna wanna spend the time to actually come up with the different ideas of the titles. Now, I'm gonna have in a separate video, in a separate section in the guide, how to come up with the best keyword optimized titles. But for now, I just want to help you understand the overarching structure, right? Once you're able to turn all the basic ideas into actual titles, then you're able to just check it off in its respective area. And that essentially classifies that for this video, the titling has been essentially decided upon, right? Now, once again, the videos in this list here should be arranged in the order of your launch sequence, right? 
So the higher it is, the earlier it's gonna be launched, and the further down the list it is, that means the later it's going to be launched. Now, the easiest thing that you can do is obviously prioritize the videos that need to be released sooner rather than later, and that way you're gonna be able to make sure that you're not missing any video deadlines. Now, in regards to deadlines, it is also advisable that you kind of decide in advance exactly when each of these videos will be launched. So you see this list of videos right here, right? What I actually do is I have a separate uh, tab in the same spreadsheet where it has a specific content launch schedule as well. And this is where I'm actually deciding which day will each of these videos be launched. But it's really good because if you have a deadline in mind of when each video needs to be done, it puts a little bit more urgency on yourself so that you don't procrastinate. And then before you know it, a video that was supposed to be launched this month takes until next month before it actually gets pushed to the finish line. At this point, you have all the topics, right? You've essentially decided these are the videos that I wanna create. I've titled them. They're also decided upon as far as the launch date is concerned. Now you wanna actually start producing them. But the question might be, what is the best way to start producing the videos? Now, let me tell you the wrong way to do it. The wrong way and the more inefficient and painful way to do it is if you decided, you know what, I'll do each of these videos one at a time. That means you look at the first video topic up here and then you say, you know what, I'm gonna title it and then I'm gonna work on the thumbnail and then I'm gonna work on the script and then I'm gonna film it and then I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna just pretty much do everything that I need to do for this one video to get done before working on the next video at all. Now, the problem that this has is if you are constantly switching between these different tasks, such as working on the title and then working on the thumbnail and then scripting and then filming and then editing, it's highly inefficient because your brain doesn't like to be constantly switching between tasks. Whenever you do switch between totally different tasks, your brain takes a while to even reset, right? So a much more efficient way is to process things in bulk. So let's say you actually have 10 video topics that you decided okay, I wanna make these into real videos that show up in my channel. So from there, you might actually bulk do all the different tasks in this conveyor belt. So maybe you will title all of these videos in one go. And that might only take you half an hour because you're gonna get the momentum of just titling. And from there, once everything's been titled, maybe you then go and just come up with thumbnail ideas for all of the videos all at the same time. And that might take you an hour. And then you send it off to a graphic designer to do the thumbnail editing. And then once you're done that, you can spend pretty much an afternoon on scripting all the, the videos all in one go. Once again, the momentum of scripting, once you get into the zone, it's not that hard to come up with all of your scripts. And then filming, literally today, uh, I filmed seven videos already, which honestly, it's a little bit exhausting, but it would be much less efficient for me to be just trying to film one video a day and needing to redo my entire camera and lighting setup every single time. I set up my camera and lighting one time, and then today I just bang it all out in hopefully a couple hours. By the end of it, am I a bit tired? Yes. But have I more or less gotten through multiple weeks worth of filming? Absolutely, and that's what I'm actually aiming for. And then the exact same thing for the editing, where honestly, I can just book off a day or two in my calendar to edit if it was me doing it. These days, I do have a video editor, so I can actually just send all the files to my video editor and they'll just move it all at once. But even with that, I'm sending them multiple files at the same time. I'm not just giving them one file at a time. And this makes it more efficient for the video editing team as well. So this is the YouTube content conveyor belt. You can see why utilizing it can make your life a lot easier. It allows you to actually have a much clearer understanding of all the videos that you have in your queue. It allows you to stay disciplined and ahead of schedule based on the deadlines that you have. You have transparency into where each and every one of your videos in your queue is in terms of the production stages. And it starts to make you feel more like an actual business owner rather than just a creative. Because a lot of YouTubers, they are more or less just creatives and they enter their workday with a lot of chaos. And chaos sometimes breeds uh, brilliance, but the truth is chaos can sometimes make it very difficult for you to get things done uh, efficiently and in a unstressful way. And that's why I really, really recommend you 
add a little bit of rigor in terms of organization to your process. So if this is something that you think could be interesting for your YouTube process, then why don't you just go below and you can actually download in the description box this entire YouTube content conveyor belt in the PDF format and you could pretty much just use it for your own business. So with that being said, hopefully this was helpful and I will see you next time.